Hey, it's tote bag day here on the channel. Aren't you excited? No? You're not so excited about tote bags? I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Tote bags are not the sexiest bags, like backpacks and maybe slings. I know, I know. Tote bags, they are the workhorse of things like your road trip or your beach excursion. And listen, you need a tote bag in your life. So I got three really awesome big ones to look at today. We got the Rux 70 liter, we got the Patagonia 61 liter black hole, and we got the Think Tank Freeway long haul. So I just got back from an epic road trip. We went out to Colorado, it was nearly 5,000 miles of driving. We were gone for almost a month, and during that time we stayed in seven different, I slept in seven different beds on that trip, okay? So that means we were in and out of the car loading and unloading stuff a ton of time. Like, it was just a lot. These totes, the, the Rux 70 liter and the Patagonia Black Hole, these were awesome on that road trip. I We loaded a bunch of stuff in these bags and in and out of the cars. We also had our dog with us. So we had dog stuff, we had dog food, we had, it was a lot. Uh, and so I took these two bags. And so I wanna get into all three of these, but let's let's talk about Huckberry for just a second. Huckberry sent me these two. Uh, they are not a sponsor of this video, but they did send me two of each of these. So I got two of these and I got two of these. And that means you as an audience member, one of you, two of you are gonna win a bag. Stay tuned for the details of how that giveaway is gonna work. That's later in the video, but let's dive into each one of these and learn about these big ass tote bags. Okay, starting with this Rux 70 liter tote. This thing is huge. Uh, and it's just a very interesting design. They got a lot of pretty crazy little innovations going on here. Um, like, look at this thing. Uh, it's, it's crazy. I think the, the first thing that we want to uh, understand about this bag, it, this tote, is that it is fully collapsible. So the sides of it, pop in and then you can just squish it down and then you can tighten up your tighten up your straps here on the top and now you've got a much more portable bag much easier storage for when you're not using it so the way they designed this bag is they've created plastic railings around all of the top and you can attach uh, all sorts of different uh, attachments to that railing. And there's one on the outside and one on the inside. So all of these straps and these handles are using the little rail system that can you can pop things on and off. So right now I've got all the straps that came with it attached, but you don't have to use all of them at the same time. So for example, I'm gonna undo this strap that keeps the lid on and I'm gonna stretch out these red straps and you can see, okay, this, now you can use it as a shoulder strap, but there's two of them. And so now you can use it like a backpack style carry. You can hook those on your back and carry it like a backpack. If that was the way you wanted to carry it that day. They, they can pop off just real easily. Let's show you right on here. It's just a little push of the release and that, that strap goes away. Quite, quite simple really. So let's get this extra strap out of the way because I showed you it can be a, a, a shoulder carry or put them both on, it can be a backpack carry. The lid itself is actually put on there with the same sort of a clip. You can clip it into the housing in the railing, I'm sorry, and release it. And now you've got a, a little bungee that keeps that in place and you release it on both sides. And then the lid has that elastic bungee in there. And so you can kind of pop the lid off with these, you know, it's got this little thing on each corner of the lid. You can pop that off and now you have a totally removable lid. We're gonna show you one more thing with the lid in a second, but first I wanna pop 
these things back into position so the bag is upright. There we go. So you remember those like slap bracelets or like a tape measure? That's kind of what these sides are. And so you can, you just pop it right in the middle and it collapses it. And then you pop it back from this side and it's, it's durable again. So this is a stackable design as well. When you got those fully in place, it's, it's totally stackable. So that's pretty clever. It's collapsible, but also strong enough to stack. I think that's clever. Now with the lid, let's go ahead and put the lid back on. Now that I got the bag put back together. Okay, I got the lid back on. Now imagine a scenario where you just wanna get, kind of quickly get into this. The way the lid is designed is you can pull up the corners and you can peel that back just like so. So now that lid pulls back, it's still attached. Like that lid isn't going anywhere. It's, it's still attached to the unit. It's not going anywhere. But now you can get in here and get to some of your stuff. And I think that's another one of those clever little ways of handling their, their lid situation that is pretty cool. You, now with the lid off, you can kind of see that railing. You can see that railing. It's on the inside as well. There's a railing on the inside and a railing on the outside. And they're, the, they're pretty much the same. So you can put attachments to either the inside or the outside. These straps also come off. They're attached to the outside here. You can kind of get a look at how those are attached. But if you decide you don't need these straps, there you go, take them off. You don't need them. Let's look at the inside. You can see it's, it's pretty much a big rectangle, but it's got a very durable bottom. It's got a very durable uh, bottom on both sides. So I don't think you have anything to worry about from a durability perspective with the bottom or the sides. It, it's made from uh, waterproof materials. So what they're calling it, they call this the 840D TPU coated nylon. Uh, this stuff seems, I'm not gonna say it's, you know, bulletproof, cause it's not, but it, it's, it just seems like it's gonna stand up to, you know, all kinds of abuse. Um, I don't think it's gonna tear very easily, but it's a, uh, it's kind of a soft sided bag with, strong corners. Now on, on, on this side, it's got a clear window so you can see what's inside your, 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 your box here, your cargo, your tote, your cargo tote. Um, it also has a little slot for a business card or a label. Maybe you want to put a label that say camping supplies or whatever. You can put that in there, but this clear window is very helpful. So at a glance, you can kind of see what's in there. Maybe color code your things. They got a whole ecosystem of accessories that, that go with this, including like insert divider bags that clip into the rails and you can keep your, keep your stuff a little more organized. They also have uh, lash straps that go in here and you can hook exterior items to it. The picture, one of the pictures on the website shows an ax hooked to the side of it. They also show hooking it up onto the, the, the hooking it to the basket or the rooftop basket um, so that it's secure on the roof of a car. You know, you got several of them and you lash them up there. Um, so they've got a whole ecosystem of other products that go with this. And I think that's just a really innovative style of carry. Let's talk dimensions for a second. This thing weighs 5.3 pounds when empty. The dimensions of this thing are 15.7 inches wide, 19.8 five inches on the long side, that's this side, and 13.8 inches tall. It has a, a load limit of 50 pounds. Okay, so in my usage, I found kind of uh, what I think is a little bit of a weak point with this. It's kind of just one of those little things that comes with it, but um, I used it, I had it in the car with a bunch of other stuff and I would shove stuff into the car. And if you shove something in there and it hits, it hits this corner, then it triggers the collapse mechanism. So, you know, I'd shove a bag in there and I'd hit that and that, and this would collapse. And then if you did on, happen to do it on two sides and that collapsed, now you got, now you got your tote bag that's kind of not really uh, the way you need it. And, you know, it, it can pop back up pretty easily. You don't even have to, to do anything, but uh, when you're, you know, trying to shove stuff in the car, be, be cautious of that, that side that, you know, a good hit can can trigger that collapse mechanism. 
Overall, it's just uh, kind of strappy. There's a lot of straps all over it. Um, besides the handles, there's the side straps and then there's the, the backpack carry straps and the shoulder strap. And uh, it can get a little, and then the, you got the lid here that goes with it. Um, so it can get a little strappy and I think that is fine. I'm not, I'm not it's the thing. With an innovative style of carry like this, it just, there's a little, there's a little fussiness with it. And I think that's fine. I think it's a good trade. I'm happy with that trade. A little bit of extra straps so that you have your options. They get in the way a little bit when you're not needing them, but to have them, it's very nice. So I like that. One last thing to make sure I point out with this bag is it has a lifetime warranty. I love things with a lifetime warranty. That means if something messes up on it, you can, you can get it fixed or return or get a new one. And, uh, and companies that give lifetime warranties, that means they believe in their products. Patagonia Black Hole Gear Tote, 61 liters. Now, you're already seeing, you're already seeing, you know, one of the tiniest little cons of this thing is it's super floppy. It's like, it, with nothing in there, it just flops. Um, a lot of tote bags do that. It's not a big deal, but uh, it's totally different from that Rux that just stands up on its own. So the 61 liter tote, man, this thing is humongous and it holds so much stuff. I've used this on several different trips so far, taking it to the beach, um, taking it on several road trips. It's just great to throw all your stuff in. Anything that doesn't go in another kind of bag, this is, this is the bag that I usually throw it into. So it's 61 liters of storage. Why did they choose 61 instead of 60? I have no idea. I just don't know. That's a weird number, but okay, whatever. I'm not complaining. 61 liters of storage. It's made from uh, what they call, I'm gonna read it here, 14 ounce, 900 denier, post-consumer recycled polyester ripstop. And this fabric is certified uh, Blue Sign approved. Now, we've talked a little bit before on this channel about Blue Sign approved products and, and how uh, you know my production company, my video production company that I run is focused on sustainability and projects that are around sustainability. And so we're hyper aware of products that are good for the environment. And Patagonia as a company is one of the, the biggest leaders, not only in the industry, but in the world, as far as doing what's good for sustainability first. And uh, for a products company, they're doing everything they can. Um, this bag made from 100% recycled, post-consumer recycled materials is a fantastic contribution to that effort. There's not a whole lot to this bag, really. There's a pocket here on the outside for your smaller items, keys, phone, wallet, whatever. Throw stuff in there, zip it up. There is uh, daisy chain attachment points, lash points here for carabiners or water bottles or whatever you want to attach here. It's got a handle on each side, very strong. These, these handles are, are comfy and strong. And then it's got uh, a strap that goes across the top to secure your load from falling out. And it's got two of those, one on each side. So your stuff will, will be mostly protected from falling out. And that's basically all the, all the features of the bag. There are lash points on both sides, but that's, that's the feature of the bag. This one has that, that famous Patagonia shark on there. And this bag comes in a couple other colors. This is the black one. But yeah, that's, that's it for features of the bag. It is just a gigantic bag with a handle. If you uh, are, are interested in the giveaway of this bag, there's a secret code word required, and that secret code word is Huckberry. H-U-C-K-B-E-R-R-Y. One of the funny uh, use cases I saw on this when I was looking at the, the website for this bag is they say you can, when you're at the beach and you're trying to change clothes, change into your wetsuit or out of your wetsuit uh, or change shoes, uh, you can use this bag, you can stand in this bag, change clothes, put your shoes on, whatever you need to do, and then climb out of it and you're, you won't have sand all over your feet. And as somebody, an official person who hates sand, I think that's a great use case. Um, I'm, I'm impressed by the cleverness of that idea. So when I go to the beach, this is my beach bag. Uh, you throw some towels, you throw some food, you throw some 
sunblock and whatever in here. You put your phone in there and, uh, you know, great bag. Love this bag. Let's move on to the Think Tank Freeway Long Haul. I um, have not had the chance to put this bag through a rigorous road trip test yet, but I look forward to the day that I do. Uh, it did not go to Colorado with me, but uh, it is a fantastic road trip bag. Freeway long haul, 50 liter bag, made by Think Tank. And if you're not familiar with Think Tank, mostly they've been known to be making uh, fantastic camera bags. I have a gigantic playlist full of Think Tank bag reviews on this channel. It's my, one of my favorite bag companies, and, uh, and I have a lot of their products. So when they came out with this bag, I was like, hey, that is a clever tote bag. I'd like to get it. And then, uh, and then I did. So there are a lot of great things about this tote bag. We're gonna just kind of go dive into it kind of feature by feature. First, it's got these handles that have a comfortable uh, comfort grab uh, Velcro attachment so you can separate the two handles. Okay, that's good. Right now you can see that it's got a lid. This lid is a, zip, a zippered on lid, but it's also uh, completely tuckable. There's a, there's a pocket in here where you can tuck the lid. So let's go ahead and do that. So the lid zips into place, keeps everything in the bag. No, nothing's gonna fall out if it's zipped. And it, it's, it's not removable. So it, it zips, un, it almost unzips. There's a little piece of fabric here that keeps it totally attached. But when you want it to disappear, you just, let me turn it around so you can see. There's a, there's a pocket, there's a pocket in here and you just stuff it into that pocket. And now the bag has a lid, but the lid is completely tucked away. And I think that's real smart. Now, when you look in here, what you see is you see a center divider. That center divider comes with it and it's, it's Velcroed into place right now because I put, it, I put it up. When you don't want to use this Velcro divider, you can, un, you can un velcro it and fold it flat and it sits on the bottom of the bag Velcroed in place and you're never going to know it's there. It gives a little more sturdiness to the bottom. But if you had a bigger item in here and you don't need this center divider, and it's a flexible kind of divider. It's not, it's not super strong, but it does help you divide the bag in half. Uh, there are predefined Velcro spots, so it kind of only works as a center divider. It doesn't work like you can't just put it wherever you want. There's only one spot where it goes. There aren't any other organizational pockets on the inside of this bag. All the rest of the organization that's built in is on the outside and there's a lot of outside organization. There's a huge mesh basket here on the outside and it's got this kind of bendy, bendy arm. So I don't like, this is great for jackets or something, maybe, um, you know, some, some bigger stuff. But if you put little stuff in here, uh, this doesn't seal up very well. So it could fall out here on the backside. Um, just a much smaller pocket uh, for, it's a good size for a book, maybe. It's not super huge. On this side, uh, very similar type um, pocket. It's just not mesh, it's solid. And so I don't know what kind of thing you might put in there, but uh, bug spray or who knows what, put that kind of stuff in there. And then here on the front, it's got a zippered pocket that's pretty big can hold, uh, you know, various things. Bug spray, I think, would fit in here. Um, and it zips up nice like that. Now, it comes with a shoulder strap. Now, we talked about the different ways to carry. It's got the handles on top. It comes with a nice shoulder strap that hooks on to D-rings, quick and easy clamps, clips, just like that. There you go. Now you got the shoulder strap option. It does have these grab handles on all four sides. So it's got, you can carry it whichever way you want. And that is convenient as heck. There's three different ways of grabbing this thing with each of these handles, with the shoulder strap or with these tote handles up on top. Now they also make some accessories that go with this bag, um, including a insert bag called the, the, the freeway tote. 
They also make packing cubes that go with this thing. Now I say they're, they're packing cubes. They don't call them packing cubes. They call them freeway organizer cubes. So these are the, these are the freeway organizer cubes. And it's, it's basically a packing cube. It's an organizer cube. It's not a luggage, um, it's not for luggage, but it's for, um, it goes with this bag. And when you order, these are sold separately, but when you order them, they come in a pack of three. I didn't know that. And so I ordered, uh, I didn't read closely. If I had read closely, I would have known. So I ordered two, thinking I would get two of these. And instead now I have six. That's not a big problem. I can find, use, I can find a lot of ways to use these. But you can notice they're, they're clear on the, on the bottom, on the front, on the top, and they got the gray fabric on the back and two of the sides. So when you throw this into the bag, uh, you get a pretty clear view of what's in there. And it's a, it's a clever way of helping you organize your stuff in a way that you can see what's in there. So let's just throw it in here. And so if you're, if you're looking in from the bag on the top, you'll be able to see kind of what's in your organizer. And I think that's really clever. I like that. I look forward to, to using these things quite a bit in this bag plus in other bags. And let's talk materials and dimensions. First off, this thing weighs 2.3 pounds when it's empty and it is 17.1 inches wide, 12.8 inches in depth, and it's 13.75 inches tall. This is the Freeway Long Haul 50. They also make a 70 liter version of this bag. So as far as materials, it's first off, it's coated in a DWR coating that helps with water resistance, but it's made out of nylon, a bunch of different kinds of nylon all over the place. You might imagine there's a bunch of different kinds of fabric in here. So I'm just gonna read uh, what, what the website says because it's a lot of fabric talk. 420D high density nylon with a ballistics bottom. It's in dash slash ROBIC 100D triple rip stop, 600D polyester, 200D poly lining, and three ply bonded nylon threads. So uh, none of that to me sounds like it's made from uh, anything recycled materials. I know personally, I know Think Tank makes fantastic stuff, stuff that is very durable and very strong and very smart and very good camera gear. But I haven't seen them make anything so far that even hints towards a more sustainable attitude towards plastics and nylons and fabrics. And um, I wish they would take a step in that direction. I wish they would use more materials that are recycled. I wish they would do things. And I'm happy to be, I'd love to be corrected. It, think Tank, if you, if I'm making a mistake here and you're, you got a lot of products out there that I just, I've overlooked that are made from recycled materials, I'd love to know about it so I can support that with a purchase. Um, but I, I, you know, I kind of am very familiar with your product line and I haven't seen uh, much so far, I haven't seen anything so far uh, that has uh, recycled materials in it, or at least I'm not remembering it if I did see it. So um, I'd love to be corrected. I'd love to see that in the future if, if you, if you haven't done it yet, I would love to support you further by uh, supporting those products. That's that. If you're somebody who skipped ahead just to get to the end to see what the giveaway was all about, see how you could give away, well, I'm sorry to say that you missed the secret code word. The secret code word is back somewhere else in the video. You're gonna have to watch the whole thing to figure out the secret code word. Because when you go to the links that are in the description, you're gonna to need to put in the secret code word. So watch the full video. For those of you who already know the secret code word, the links are in the description. I'm gonna give away two bags. You're gonna give away the Rux 70 liter tote bag and I'm gonna give away a Patagonia black hole tote for the 61 liters. And uh, I hope it's you. I hope you're the winner. Um, I gotta say thanks to Huckberry for giving me the opportunity to review these bags and also giving you the opportunity to get, uh, to get your own copy for free. The giveaway. They are a cool company uh, selling really good vetted gear from good companies. So check out Hugberry. They deserve your clicks and your purchases. I think they're uh, I think they're doing great stuff. So go check them out. Check the links in the description. Watch some other videos on this channel. Great bag reviews and, and other cool tools. So check it out and I will catch you guys on the next one.